Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to get started in just a minute once we give everybody a chance to come on in from the waiting room. All right, thank you so much for joining us today. This is Maggie Bittner, Head of Education for SIA, and we are pleased to welcome our partners at Lightspeed um, to give us a little bit of the state of retail in 2021 and how things are evolving, um, as well as their supplier network that they have launched. Um, and so I am going to turn things over to Chloe Freeman, um, who I've had the pleasure of working with over the last few months and know that you will love hearing her updates as well. So with that, Chloe, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to you. Awesome, thank you so much, Maggie. So hi everybody, welcome. Today we're going to go over the state of retail in 2021 and how Lightspeed Supplier Network is revolutionizing retail. So last year, the retail industry went through a major upheaval, but retailers have been resilient and determined in the response. A global pandemic changed consumer behavior temporarily closed shop doors and forced retailers to adapt to a new normal. New ways of selling and fast adoption of digital tools were born out of necessity. And this year, many will be shaping the retail industry for 2021 as well. So these are the retail trends you can expect to see in North America in 2021. There's gonna be an emphasis on connected sales channels, finding new ways to acquire customers, flexible business models, and making supply chains more efficient. With the right technology, retailers will be one step ahead in this new world of retail. All right, so a few housekeeping rules. This webinar will be recorded. Today's session is scheduled for around 30 minutes with time for Q&A. If you have any questions throughout the presentation, please look down onto the control panel. There's a questions box and feel free to chat them in there. And lastly, we will be following up after the presentation with all the resources we're sharing today. Okay, so before we actually get started, I have to give a fun legal disclaimer. We may make forward-looking statements on our call today that are based on assumptions and therefore subject to risks and uncertainties that could cause actual results to differ materially from those projected. We undertake no obligation to update these statements except as required by law. You can read about these risks and uncertainties in our filings with US and Canadian securities regulators. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way. So firstly, it's really nice to meet everyone. My name is Chloe. I am the senior partner manager for our supplier platform, and I've been at Lightspeed for about five years. So today it's a very exciting topic. We're talking about the new initiative and how Lightspeed is truly revolutionizing retail. So for a fun fact about me, I'm often confused with the actress Emma Stone. I think it's my, my voice, something to do with my voice. So if anything you can remember today, you had a session with a celebrity voice doppelganger. So, I'd now like to know a little bit about the audience and we're gonna take a quick poll. So we'd like to know what type of business are you? Are you a supplier or brand, a retailer or other? I'll just give it a couple of seconds. All right, let's take a look. Awesome. So it looks like we've got a healthy mix of suppliers and brands, retailers and other. So I'll make sure to address everybody in today's presentation so you guys can get out of it what you need. Awesome. So today's agenda, we are gonna go over 2021 retail trends, the future of commerce for SMBs and suppliers. I'm gonna intro you guys to the Lightspeed Supplier Network the benefits for suppliers and for retailers, and then lastly, how to join Lightspeed, the supplier network, or as a retailer. Before we get into retail trends, I think it's important to introduce ourselves as a company and explain a little bit of a more about what Lightspeed actually does. So Lightspeed is a modern cloud-based commerce platform that helps entrepreneurs run their small business, their small to medium-sized business. We allow business owners to sell across multiple channels, 
both physical and digital, manage their operations, engage with consumers, manage multiple locations, and eventually grow their business through offerings such as Lightspeed POS in their store, Lightspeed Loyalty, Lightspeed Analytics, Lightspeed Payments, Lightspeed Capital, and Lightspeed Commerce Solutions. So it's really an all-in-one full suite solution for small to medium-sized businesses. So let's get started on 2021 retail trends. The first one I wanna to touch on is connected sales channels. So omni-channel retail is a unified brand experience across multiple channels where each seamlessly connects with the other. So imagine you have your in-store point of sale, you have your e-commerce online business. When I sell something online, my inventory automatically updates in-store, fully connected. With the COVID-19 pandemic came a huge boom in the adoption of e-commerce consumers. In the US, omni-channel retail sales grew 50% in 2020, and that number is getting even higher in 2021. So we're finding there's a lot of adoption of new consumers that maybe weren't comfortable ordering or shopping online. And because of the pandemic, it's really changed the, their, their trust in, in e-commerce and online shopping. Next is automated inventory creation. So this is huge for retailers, and we're going to talk about this a little bit later. So it's one of the most time consuming activities a retailer has to manage is entering in all of their inventory and product information. In 2018, just a few years ago, it was reported that 46% of small businesses didn't track their inventory or they didn't have an automated method to track it, which is just wild. The second topic we're discussing is finding new ways to acquire customers. As the shift to e-commerce and omni-channel solutions are expected to continue into 2021, brands have looked to digital platforms like social media, and email, and augmented reality to meet new customers. So there's a greater push to build a strong, unified online presence. Next, it's to cut through the noise, SMBs are looking for more ways than ever to be competitive and meet customers wherever they are. So that includes personalization, customization, pricing, convenience, and actually really good customer service. This is key to winning over new customers. The next one we're talking about. So flexible business models. So the first one is mobile payments. The technology has been evolving for years, but COVID-19 hugely accelerated its adoption. So the zero contact benefits of mobile payments have contributed to its popularity and retailers need to adapt to this, to this changing consumer behavior. Data shows that nearly one third of US consumers use contactless payments for the first time during the pandemic. And in March, 2020, contactless payments grew by 25%. Those are actually really huge numbers. And I think it just goes to show that, you know, it's now a necessity to have these things and to offer these things. It's no longer a nice to have. The next one's really interesting. So financing or buy now, pay later. This payment option has grown exponentially in 2020 and it's on track to continue rising in popularity. Responding to the economic challenges of COVID-19, people have less disposable income. POS financing or buy now, pay later has financially assisted many households and filled a need in the market for flexible transactions. We'll talk about this again later. The next is subscription e-commerce. So this is a convenient and personalized way for business owners to offer customers a new way to buy their favorite products. And then this is, again, a nice way uh, to offer products at a lower cost when you buy them in bulk. The last one is curbside pickup. So this has become a must during the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm not sure if you guys have seen on Google, if you search for something, you'll see a little flag that mentions curbside pickup. This is because COVID-19 temporarily closed access to a lot of retail doors. So it became kind of a lifeline for our retailers to be able to connect to their customers. It's really exciting. Another fun fact, so CNBC, CNBC reports that the number of orders placed online and picked up at stores increased by 208% of April last year compared to one year before. So again, this is a new trend that will be sticking, a while, sticking around for a while. All right, so the next one is making supply chains more efficient. And this is a really strong topic for us today, talking about the Lightspeed Supplier Network. 2020 saw disruptions in supply chains across the globe through the pandemic. One of the biggest ways companies can make their supply chains more resilient is by diversifying them. 
businesses of any size can minimize disruptions and keep their customers satisfied by working with more suppliers. This also goes back to being more flexible on both, both ends, suppliers and retailers. They need to be willing to pivot to provide whatever is needed for the SMB and to be able to pull from different places. A recent report on supply chain trends for the year on Finance Online predicts that bigger companies like Amazon, their impact will lead smaller companies to optimize their supply chains as much as possible. Integrating cloud-based solutions can help SMBs reduce costs and administration work as well as improve their customer service. So automation is key. This is key for competing with bigger companies like the Amazons of the world. Both suppliers and retailers are looking to automate tasks and save time. And this will also help with preventing human errors and making costly mistakes. Automation is key. So lastly, the post COVID predictions. So we believe there will be continued growth of self-service options. This isn't just stopping because of COVID-19. Customers are getting used to this type of experience. So earlier we described flexible business models such as buy now, pick up later, or buy now, pay later, and mobile payments. Those are expected to stick around post COVID with over 150 million US customers expected to use buy now, pay later at least once in 2021. What does this mean? This means that customers, retailers, suppliers, everyone has a low tolerance for errors. With so many options and technologies at their disposal, consumers will have a lower tolerance for subpar service too. Their expectations will be higher, meaning delivery delays or out of stock notifications and bad customer service will put companies at a much more severe disadvantage in the market. To combat this, retailers will need to amp up their customer service channels, as well as optimize their pricing and streamline their inventory management. The last piece is loyalty. So Lorsley, as a result of the pandemic, 75% of US consumers bought from brands that they hadn't shopped from before. And we want those shoppers to continue purchasing from those brands that they found during COVID-19. And the biggest reasons for setting for switching to find these new brands is having accessibility to the right tools and the right place to find those products that they need. So it's really, really important that we're giving our retailers the technology they need to keep their retailers and end users very happy and keep them coming back. It's estimated that 80% 80 of customers who switch brands during the pandemic will continue to buy from those same brands. So we're looking at long-term trends for new brands and new adoption. Okay, so what is the future of commerce then for SMBs and suppliers? Here you're looking at the growth flywheel. So this is how here at Lightspeed we've added value to retailers, suppliers, and consumers. This is through the Lightspeed supplier network. This is really B to C to B working together. The reality is every supplier is selling directly on their own company websites, but they also wanna have access to the brick and mortar retailer. Now more than ever, retailers and suppliers alike, they need intuitive tools that make the ordering process easier allowing them to reach more clients and obviously sell more products to grow their businesses. So let's get into why retailers and suppliers are adopting the supplier market. Merchants have access to better brands and better insights into stock levels. This makes them operate more efficiently. This directly impacts the consumer or the end user. Consumers wanna buy from the best brands and now the retailers can find stock, place a special order to win over that business. This helps the SMB retailers stay competitive. Unlike big box retailers, SMBs didn't have the access to these tools before Lightspeed Supplier Network. We believe commerce belongs to everyone so that puts this tool, the supplier market at the heart of our company and speaks directly to our mission to give SMBs the technology they need to compete with the industry giants, the Amazons of the world. So we really have positioned Lightspeed as a central hub or a marketplace, if you will, for retailers and suppliers to connect and just streamline trading. Again, this is a democratizing product, making this modern technology accessible for the independent, the small to medium-sized businesses. So let's get into it. What is the Lightspeed Supplier Network? So to start us off, I'm gonna show you a quick product demo video to give you context on what the supplier network is all about.
easily search for products. Connect to suppliers and see up-to-date product catalogs. Get selling online and in-store faster by directly importing high-quality product images and detailed supplier information. Send purchase orders with a click and easily track shipments in your point of sale. Automate product discovery, ordering and shipping with a network of industry-leading suppliers. No subscription, no extra ordering fees, just a seamless supply chain. No more juggling multiple supplier portals, spreadsheets, and workflows. With direct access to industry-leading suppliers, automated processes, and time-saving tools, you can run your business at the highest level. No external sites, no third-party integrations. Order and manage stock in your POS. The all-new integrated supplier market, only in Lightspeed Retail. Okay, so let's dig deeper. What has actually changed? So Lightspeed Supplier Network simplifies the lives of small, medium-sized business owners. And it's kind of worth taking you step-by-step -step with the without and the with, so the before and after. So before, our retailers are placing orders on between 40 and 50 different websites, different B2B portals. They're needing to remember their logins, their passwords to go in and place orders to their suppliers. This is a lot of external sites to keep track of and manage. Oftentimes there's not very much supply visibility to the actual stock levels and quantity on hand. So speaking to the bike space, Lightspeed's very, very large in the bike and sporting goods world. So that's why it's very exciting we're speaking with you guys today. Um, and it, I mean, this past year, inventory was super, super lean across the board. So what we found is our retailers were looking to find products and bike specialty goods, and they were unable to order it. Um, so without that visibility to stock levels, it's really hard to manage your business and, and keep things running. Lastly is the manual purchase orders. So we know our retailers are plugging in purchase orders to our platform. They're typing in inventory, they're creating everything manually, and this, again, takes them so much time. And there's a lot of human error involved in that as well. So let's look at the after. So after we have a refreshed and integrated catalog system, this is one place for a retailer to access all of the brands that they're looking for and all of the distributors that they're looking for. They're able to gather images, descriptions, SKUs, all the information that they need, and it's provided directly from the brands themselves. Next is just easy ordering. So think about wanting to place a reorder or wanting to place a special order for a customer. You can do this live directly within the platform. Lastly is automated shipment handling. Uh, so essentially when you place an order in Lightspeed Supplier Market, automatically all of the inventory that that customer just placed will, will be created for them in their local inventory, including a purchase order to reflect that order. So it's just automating all the systems for our customers. So what does this mean if you are a supplier? This means that you are arming your, the brands with insights and the ability to forecast. So one of the biggest questions that come up from our suppliers that have joined Life Supply Market is, we want data. We want to get some real-time sell-through data from all of the retailers that are ordering from us. So this is really huge. And that is something that's going to be coming soon. We will be offering a, a way for you to actually access the data for the retailers that you're selling to. The next is just enabling suppliers to access new stores and increase distribution. So, you know, we, because Lightspeed has a very large footprint with independent retailers, uh, we've launched right now in the United States and in Canada for our supplier market. Um, it's just a great way to access potential new doors that you might want to open and giving yourself this kind of vehicle to connect with thousands of active, ready to buy retailers. The next is just protecting your brand. So this is really, really important. You know, you're selling your products to your independent retailers you want to make sure that your products are being reflected the right way. Whether that means the retailer is using the iPad app on Lightspeed and showcasing their products in store, and they want to showcase the best product images, descriptions, all the information that's relevant. Um, or maybe that customer has Lightspeed e-commerce and they're showcasing your products online. And if that's the case, you really want to control the way that your brand and products look in the hands of the retailers that you're selling to. 
Lastly, I've said it, but I've said it already, but I'll say it again. Just reducing errors and saving time. We know for suppliers to manage uh, the retailer base, independent retailers, they're often on all sorts of different platforms. So they could be on like very little technology. Maybe they have Excel spreadsheets. Maybe they have a point of sale system that's not integrated or that's server-based. So just really having an automated and integrated platform allows everyone to just reduce errors and save time. So we have already welcomed many SAA members to join the supplier network. Um, here's how Outdoor Gear Canada uses the supplier network in, to connect with more retailers. So this is a quote from Sylvain, who is the vice president of marketing at OGC, Outdoor Gear Canada. The supplier network offers the dealers the opportunity to get our rich product data, images, long descriptions, et cetera, as well as inventory within their operating system, greatly reducing workload for dealers, bike dealers, and also permitting them to leverage our warehouse to generate sales both online and in store. So now I'm gonna show you from a quick video from one of our retailers perspectives. So this is a retailer that's been using Lightspeed Fire Network. They're, they're called Cycleworks and they're actually based out of Texas. Since the pandemic, a lot of the factories shut down. Uh, there was a huge lull in production and uh, the product has been very difficult to come by. So uh, manufacturers have run out and there's not new stock available just yet. You know, we have dozens of options to order parts from, but when they're all sold out, it's nice to see while being in light speed, just more options for us to be able to look into. So just the other day I was in the supplier market and I saw a distributor that I hadn't encountered before and reached out and we got an account set up with them. So that was something neat that we were able to do and I wouldn't have done it without the supplier market. All right, so what does this mean? What does this mean for our retailers? The supplier network will open up possibilities in terms of the collaboration between businesses and brands. So again, this is direct access to supplier catalogs without ever leaving their point of sale system. This is the ability for a retailer, like you mentioned, to discover new products. And you can search by supplier, you can search by brand, you can scan in a UPC to try to find that same product. So there's multiple ways for you to leverage the tools and navigation within the platform. Lastly, it's managing suppliers and ordering from a single platform. And I can't stress this enough. Imagine having 40 to 50 different websites and then having all of your suppliers in one place. It's just a huge, huge time saver for retailers. So what are our goals for the Lightspeed Supplier Network? Again, this is a democratizing tool and it's deeply in line with our mission as a company. We just wanna level the playing field in favor of independent business. So the current state Supplier Network is live in the US and Canada with more countries to come. We're launching, we've launched with our bike suppliers and our sporting goods suppliers. Those are two very large segments in terms of customers for us. So we're launching with two really strong verticals that will help us get a ton of traction on the platform. And this is a free network. So I haven't mentioned it, but it's a free trade and enablement network for suppliers and for retailers. If you're using Lightspeed, you're not paying extra to have this service. And if you're a supplier that wants to join, it's a free service to join. So again, we're just leveling the playing field for the independents. So we're coming near the end, and I just want to stress this, how to join the supplier network. Super easy. Uh, you can visit our website at lightspeedhq.com slash partners slash supplier network. There's also a chat that Kelsey, my associate, will be putting in right now with the link to the SAA landing page. So if you're a retailer, you're going to get a good deal by coming on board. There's a promotion running right now, actually for a free hardware kit, um, if you're looking to switch POS systems. And for a supplier, you are pre-qualified to join. So we have been working with SAA and we're super excited to say that everyone's pre-qualified. We strongly encourage you to go on there and apply. It just takes a couple of minutes and, uh, and it's pretty simple. So that's it. I've got a few questions that have rolled in that I will take right now, but thank you so much for attending today. It kind of wraps up the presentation. And hopefully if you have any other questions, just pop them down in the chat as I go through the ones that we have ready. So the first one I have is, is there a cost for a brand or supplier to join the network? And the answer is no. 
we're not entering every single vertical right now, but for the sporting goods and bike verticals, we are definitely accepting applications and we welcome you to join and it's completely free to join and to utilize the platform. So the next question, does the supplier network replace a brand's B2B? So a really good question. The answer is no. So most brands, all brands have their own method to manage their inventory and their wholesale platform. That could be an ERP system or a wholesale B2B website. Lightspeed supplier network just fits alongside that. So essentially when you have your, your system to upload all your products and inventory, all of that information will feed into Lightspeed supplier market. And when an order is placed on from the Lightspeed supplier market, the order will go into your system. So it's fully integrated into a variety of different platforms. And we also have custom integrations as well. The next one, is everyone accepted to join? So I kind of answered this already, but we are starting to grow our supplier market and we're just starting with sporting goods and with bikes. So I'm speaking to the right audience. Um, so everyone who's listening today, definitely uh, you're accepted to join and we welcome your applications. All right, the last one we have is, how long does it take to sign up and get approved? Great question. So typically when you sign up on our website, or on the SAA link that Kelsey shared, um, you will be able to get your application approved typically within two to three business days. So if you sign up, you'll hear back from us very quickly. And I think that's it. I don't think there's any other questions, but if there are, uh, just a reminder, we will be sending out the presentation along with the supporting links for you guys to sign up. And you can always email me directly if you have any questions at all. Thank you so much, Chloe. Um, it was a pleasure listening to you talk us through, um, you know, some of the trends and uh, what Lightspeed can do, uh, both for suppliers and make the lives of retailers easier too. Um, always good to hear. Uh, as close, Chloe mentioned, please feel free to reach out to any of us at SIA or to her directly with questions. Uh, we will be sending out this presentation as well as a link to Lightspeed. Um, for you within the next 24 to 48 hours. So um, with that, we'll give you a little bit of extra time in your day back, because I know everybody needs the, that. And uh, thank you again so much for joining and spending your time with us today. Thanks everybody.